Hi, my name is Elaine Angel and I'm president of the Association of Professional Piercers and this is the President's Corner for The Point, issue number 65. When I was considering what to talk about for this issue, I found my subject while at a board meeting of the Association of Professional Piercers Board of Directors. And during this meeting, we were in a work group and we were working on a new brochure, be on the lookout for it. The topic is stretching or expanding or enlarging piercings. And the topic of discussion that came up was whether or not to include the terms gauges and gauging in the brochure. And anybody who's been a piercer in the industry for very long knows that that is terminology that did not come from within the industry. That is terminology that somehow got started outside of the field and it has become so pervasive that it is broadly, what we used to call stretching, is now being called gauging. And uh, everybody on the board agreed that we'd like to continue to use the terms that we've always used, but to acknowledge the fact that other people are using the terms gauges and gauging. So we did end up deciding to include it, but I also wanted to talk to you about it. Um, and for those of you who are not in the industry to understand that it is not uh, terminology that we use. And for those of us who are within the industry to understand that pretty much the general public is hearing that terminology and they're not aware that it grates on our nerves or that it's something that we think of as inappropriate. So what I wanted to caution against was losing business, um, but gaining a victory in making sure someone is well-schooled that they're using the wrong terms when they come in to ask for some gauges. So my suggestion is this, if someone comes in, when someone comes in, because they do, and they say, um, I need some new gauges, and um, or points to something in your case and says, ooh, sweet gauges, that you don't blow your top, you simply say, I'll be happy to show you some jewelry, and you may want to gently let them know that in the studio and in your industry, they're called plugs or eyelets or whatever the term is that you would ordinarily use, but to be gentle enough that you don't uh, win the battle and lose the customer. So that's my bit of advice. Um, the truth is that language, uh, the English language is a living, growing, and changing entity. And whether we like it or not, uh, I believe that we have lost the battle. And it doesn't mean that we need to give up entirely, but to recognize that the widespread use has changed the way things work in the studio nowadays. So thanks for watching. And if you have any input on this topic, and I think there may well be some, feel free to send an email to president at safepiercing.org. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.